In this video, we pass more Ecluses Automatique. Some have beautiful names. Ecluse de la Méditerranée, Ecluse de l'Océan, and also in the south of France, it's raining cats and dogs. In direction Toulouse, we find some cheerleaders. Just before Toulouse, we cross the Périphérique. We arrive in the city on the day of the Fête de la Musique. We leave Castanadori on a rainy day. Pont and Ecluse de la Planck. Pacing Navigo tells me that all the bridges are 3 m 20, but believe me, this is by far the lowest one on the whole Canal de Midi. The lockkeeper house is a chambre d'hôte now. The guests come over to see what's happening. We saw two of them in the Castellet restaurant in Castelnaudry. It's a small world. This is a very typical image of Canal de Midi. We miss the vineyards though. Ewe is a steady captain. These are the control panels of the automated locks. First push blue. Are you ready? Then push green. But make sure you choose the right direction. This is Ecluse de la Domergue. Ecluse du Roc. We were told that we could not moor before the next lock. Meaning, because it's an automated one, I had to get off at this point, walk to the next lock and push the buttons. Yeah, yeah, I know you're there. Ecluse de la Méditerranée. A beautiful stopover for cyclists and tourists. Well, like we already said, not all boats are in good shape. I call them sad boats. This is the spot where we start going down again. Ecluse de l'Ocean. The plain trees, very typical for Canal de Midi. The roots of the tree support the banks, very important. In 2006, a disease was detected. 42 K trees bordering the canal got treatment, but many were cut down. Eén droom is dit. Uh-oh. Trouble in paradise. Lock out of order. 
So calling VNF during lunchtime was quite a hassle, but after some time we got three of them to help us solve the problem. In 2011, the first three plants of the trees were done. Instead of one species, they planted more than seven different types, looking for a place to spend the night. Gardouche. We almost hit a wall there. The brakes in the reverse didn't work anymore. And yes, so. then Ewa takes a dive and has to solve the problem. And no doubt, this is the problem. Because the draft of the Barolo is almost as much as the depth of the water, it's evident that we pick up stuff with our propeller. The Fairhaven coming in, nice and easy and in control. Local multifunctional venue of Cardouche. We decided to pass the lock by the end of the day, so we could leave early in the morning the next day. Believe it or not, these manual locks only work during normal working hours, so you can only start at 9 in the morning. And because we are in France, they are also closed during lunchtime. This is why the Barolo has a tent. During the night, the sky is clear. The next morning, preparing for takeoff. The chair is soaking wet. Goed, haal wacht. Op weg naar de eerste slag. The roots of the trees are very important to Canal de Midi. They make the bank stronger. Ecluse du Sanglier. This is a school class. They like to watch us passing the lock. There were always curious people wanting to talk to you.
like I said, going down quite fast. Here we have still the old original trees. This is the last lock before Toulouse. Getting closer to the port of Toulouse, you see many barges here. Toulouse is the hometown of Airbus and the Concorde was built here. The Périphérique of Toulouse. And here we are, Port Saint-Sauveur. We arrive on the day of the Fête de la Musique. Everywhere live music in all sorts and genres. And the European Championship football. Holland was playing France. It was hard to find a screen. Apparently the south of France is more into rugby. <laughs> <laughs> 